Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and I'm here with another fun project to share. Um, this is made for the Dare to Resist challenge at the Frilly and Funky blog, which is sponsored by the Funky Junkie Boutique. So our challenge was to use a resist technique in our project and I don't do a lot of mixed media stuff. So I kept it kind of basic, but added something a little fun. I used a basic emboss resist technique with this Tim Holtz stamp. And I basically um, stamped with archival black ink and then heat embossed with Ranger Clear fine detail embossing powder. Then what I did was I went in using um, alcohol ink cardstock and a bunch of Distress Oxide inks. I did this really fun technique where you lay down your colors and then when you've got everything the way you like it, you go back in with Distress Glaze and a mini ink pad, mini ink blending tool, and you just buff over the whole top of it and it brings all those oxide colors up so you get this gorgeous detail. I learned this from Tim at CHA. Um, so that's a really cool technique, and that is how I dared to resist. So this is a little uh, four and three quarter by, I think it's six and a quarter or something like that. Anyway, it's a basic gatefold card. And I turned it into, I started to just make a card, but then it took on a life of its own and became this sort of mini junk journal um, hybrid sort of thing. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? You start making one thing and it turns into another. So I used, I'll show you real quickly, the paper pad I used is Tim Holtz's Wallflower. I used the 12 by 12 because it has all the different sizes in there. And then I added in, I just got into my Tim Holtz stash and went nuts. I used ephemera from thrift shop and I used um, rub-ons and I used ephemera from um, Expedition and I used chit chat stickers of every kind and just tons of rub-ons and Tim Holtz paper dolls and the other thing that I used were some Wendy Becky um, sentiment stamps that I had in my stash so it turned out being this really fun thing these are handmade flowers I made these with Tammy Tutteros um, frayed posies and pinwheel posies and pinked posy dies and I cut these from the wallflower paper and then inked them up with distress inks and shaped them and there you go this lovely ribbon came in a little goodie bag from the funky junkie boutique and I just love it it's shabby and perfect of course this is a, a Tim Holtz quote thing remember to keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable a little Prima Crystal, all these products you can get at um, Funky Junkie. And then a Prima Doily that I cut from one of the neutral colors in this collection. And then I made my own prills with mustard seeds and alcohol inks, which is super fun. You should try it. it and you can color match that way, which is really great. And of course, here's where I use the rub-on. So this is a gatefold, and I just tied a little bit of shabby ribbon onto this Tim Holtz hinge clip. And then this opens like this. And here's the other gate. So when you glue your focal image on, you only want to glue to the right hand of the gate because otherwise you can't open your card and that would be tragic. So these are the Wendy Vecchi quotes and I just absolutely love them and they seem to fit with this whole discovery theme that I built into this little junk journal, I guess it is. So be faithful to that which exists within yourself and then promise me one thing, you will be faithful to that which exists in yourself, very kind-hearted. And I love this little guy. And of course I added various rub-ons and ephemera pieces. And then it opens like this. And over here, some more rub-ons. And in the garden, all the world is bright. And this is where things just started to get funky and I just started adding flaps and layers and you'll just have to watch this unfold. Um, of course, here are some paper dolls, and I just kind of colored those in with ink to shade them, but I didn't want them to be, like, really bright. I wanted them to stay vintagey. So life doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be happy. And then this flap folds out, and here's a spot where you can add some journaling. 
this is one of the um, ephemera cards and I put this little paper doll and some rub-ons here and then this folds out and here's this gorgeous butterfly you are your only limit with more um, rub-ons and my whole idea here was that this could be a place to collect quotes or small pictures or little mementos just kind of a junk journal so I left some of the edges really raw I really super you can see I really distressed this paper to make it look like old torn wallpaper and then put rub-ons over the top of that and then just the clustering embellishments and sayings all through so then this folds this way and then I created a tuck spot with one of the little three by three squares from the paper pack and put this cute little girl here see possibility everywhere then I created a little journal spot just by cutting tag corners and of course that tucks here or it could tuck here there's just all kinds of little tuck spots and then I also used washi tape that I colored with distress inks just to kind of add subtle layers I wanted this to look really super old you can see how I tore along the edges um, just to I just wanted it to look old um, then this folds out yet again and here is another tuck spot with um, one of the little cards from the paper collection and I just added paper dolls and washi tape and chit chat stickers and of course there's room on the back for journaling this quote says it's nice to know that some of the best days of our lives are yet to come and again I added rub-ons there and then there is beauty and imperfection and I thought that was great for this album because there's so many little imperfect parts torn edges and then another little tag that I made just by clipping the corners you have it in you to make beautiful things do it now so this is just kind of and so you can see you know it goes this way it goes oh yeah there's more <laughs> see I even surprised myself um, this is a little flap I created just by gluing part of it back behind the paper layer here's some of those torn edges I was talking about you could put a large photo here um, your life is your message to the world make sure it's a good one I love these Wendy Vecchi sentiment stamps they are awesome here's another little tuck spot oh no this is another flap with more rub-ons and room for a photo behind and of course you can journal down here and I love this little picture it says embrace your journey lesson number 175 life is simple live each day laugh lots learn constantly and always love with all your heart and I believe you can still get these um, sentiment stamps in the funky junkie boutique and they certainly are wonderful if you don't have these Wendy always has really good sentiments so you can find those there so then the whole thing just folds up neat and tidy into this little package and the clip holds it closed because it was supposed to be a car but it kind of turned into a mini junk journal anyway that's my project I hope you'll play along with this in this dare to resist challenge at the frilly and funky blog it's frilly and funky dot I'll put the link I'll caption the link um, below and if you want a complete supply list you can go to my blog kathybydesign.com and I have links to all these products and more details about how I made the album thanks for joining me I hope you have a fabulous day